Hi guys, I'm Robert Lewis and today's my birthday. I'm officially 29 years old and uh, how are you guys doing? You guys doing alright? You guys having fun? Because if you're not, you're missing out. And uh, any comments you, you have or anything, just let me know in the comments section on YouTube. And uh, let's hop into the DVD reviews. So this will be my first DVD I'm going to talk about and uh, I have some very three favorite matches on here. Mm -hmm. One of them is uh, the women's title match between one of my favorite WWE Divas of all time, Candice Michelle. She was the women's champion back in the day mm -hmm. versus uh, Beth Phoenix. and. She gave it everything she had, but in the end, Beth Phoenix came out on top. And Lillian Garcia was in charge the entire time. And uh, she couldn't win every match, but she fought to the end, and her fans still cheered for her. And uh, my second favorite match on here was... Uh, well, uh, the six-man tag match, mm -hmm. the bonus match, actually, okay. between, it, you had Jeff Hardy, you had Paul London, Brian Kendrick against Lance Cade, Trevor Murdoch, and Mr. Kennedy, of course, mm -hmm. who retired. Mm -hmm. And uh, I will never forget that match as long as I live. Lillian Garcia also announced that one. Okay. And... Uh, what other one? Um, let's see. There was one more that I had was my favorite. The uh, Punjabi prison match mm -hmm. for the world title between Batista and the great Khali. Mm -hmm. Well, both of those guys are retired. Mm -hmm. Khali especially. He was one of my favorites. Even Dave Batista, both of them. And... Uh, let Justin Roberts was in charge of that one. He's the guy. He's no longer on WWE no more. He's on AEW. And um, he announced so many events before he left WWE and ECW. And I just couldn't believe it. When I found out he left WWE, I was like, oh my God, are you serious? Yeah. It, well, it goes to show you do what you can, but... Sometimes people don't appreciate it. So that was that one. And on to this will be my second DVD, WrestleMania 23. And I have four. Okay. Okay, this will be my second DVD. It's called WrestleMania 23, and I have at least four favorite matches of all time. One of them is the Money in the Bank ladder match, the first one of the evening, and Lillian Garcia was in charge. And this was a fun match. I would never forget this this one as long as I live. I remember when it first came on TV, and I was shocked. I just couldn't believe it. And I was like, is that Lillian Garcia? And uh, Mr. Kennedy came out on top. The Hardy Boys did everything they could. Huh? Uh, Mr. The Hardy Boys, you had Finley, you had Mr. Kennedy, and then you had Rated RKO. And Mr. Kennedy came out on top. The Hardy Boys did everything they could, but in the end, Mr. Kennedy won. And um, I will, like I said before, I will never forget that match. And they was in Detroit, Michigan at the time. And my second favorite match of all time was the um, eight-man tag match. You had 
uh, Marcus Corvon, you had Kevin Thorne, you had Matt Stryker, and Elijah Burke going against San the Sandman, Rob Van Dam, Tommy Dreamer, and Sabu. And Justin Roberts was the, the guy for that one. And he did a fantastic job. And they picked the right guy for that match because if they hadn't, who knows, he would have, they would have missed out on a good match. And uh, I will never forget that match as long as I live. Now, on to the next one. Um, my third match of all time, let's see, Batista and The Undertaker for the world title. And Tony Chimmel was in charge of that one. And... Yeah, he was the announcer for that match, and Batista gave it everything he, he could, but in the end, The Undertaker, out of nowhere, d hit the tombstone on him, and that was it. He couldn't even do nothing, and I just really laughed. I just couldn't believe it. I was like, he's still fighting after all this time, and Undertaker still came out on top. And I just had to laugh, you know. You see something funny, you're going to laugh. The next one is the Lumberjill match for the women's title, which is another favorite of mine. Um, these two women are very popular in WWE. One of them is Ashley Massaro, who passed away, which is very sad. When I first found out, I just couldn't believe it. Oh, and uh, she put on one heck of a show, ladies and gentlemen. She, I mean, she fought to the end versus Melina. Melina gave it everything, but Ashley Massaro just, she fought her heart out, but Melina came out on top. The third one? Okay, so that's it for that one. And then the, final the final DVD I'm going to do. The last and final DVD is called The King of the Cage, The Fighters of Japan, Mixed Martial Arts. That's combined with wrestling, kickboxing, and, you know, submission fighting in NHB competition and uh, I bought this from Michigan all the way here to Everett and I will never forget as long as I live I have at least three matches on here that are my all-time favorites one of them is when Jeremy Horn um, took on Vernon Tiger White for the King of the Cage title five rounds I will never forget that match and he was he was from um, Davenport, Iowa, and the other guy was from San Diego, California. I didn't I had no idea that Jeremy Horn, uh, Vernon Tiger White was from San Diego, California. That just really caught me off guard. I was like, wow, that was a fun match. I will never forget that one. And my second one is. My second favorite match on here is when John Alessio took on um, Chris Bennett for the King of the Cage tournament title, five rounds. And um, they was from separate areas. And this one guy from the King of the Cage w was very excellent at announcing where they was from. And I had no idea that they was going to go that many rounds. I was like, wow. And I just said, good luck to both guys, because only one guy could win, you know. And, uh, it, it, yeah, so it was pretty, pretty enjoyable. And my last and final match that, that I really enjoyed watching was when Dan the B Severin took on uh, Rico Rodriguez three rounds in the King of the Cage tournament. And I will never forget when those guys took on each other. I will never forget it. It was so, so enjoyable. I was like, wow, look at these two gentlemen just squaring off from different areas. 
and um, they picked the right people for the King of the Cage and the right announcers because if they hadn't, the people would have missed out on a good show. So, and um, so that is it for my reviews for the DVDs and uh, hopefully you guys like it. Let me know what you thought about it. Um, if you have any comments, like I said before, just let me know in the comment section and have a have a good rest of the evening. And uh, this is Robert Lewis the third saying, "Have a good day and have a good time and continue to stay with God, because mm -hmm. you never know where he where he'll take you."